first there was just a hot place, a cold place, and a whole lot of nothing in between. But then they started leaking and mixed their elemental juices together to make a big giant named Emir, and he sprouted a bunch of kiddos called the Yotnar. Then a cow showed up from somewhere and licked a dude into existence, and then he had a kid who had three more kids named Vili, Vey, and Odin, and they were like, wow, this universe is kind of boring, huh? So they killed Emir, and he dropped approximately 6.585 sextillion tons of materials, which they used to build a whole planet. But then the Yotnar were like, hey, it was kind of a dick move for you guys to kill our dad, then build a planet out of his corpse. Huh? Oh, hey, sorry guys, yeah, we can't hear you over this big wall we built, this big wall that encircles the entire Earth. Uh, yeah, I don't know, can't help you, bye. And then they made some people out of sticks, and this guy Heimdall came and banged a whole population of them into existence. Then they decided Odin got to be in charge of everything, and in true chief deity fashion, he had a bunch of kids from various sexy goddess ladies, like Bragi, who's into writing poetry, Vidar, who likes avenging his father's death at the hands of a giant kaiju wolf, hypothetically, and Thor, whose main hobby is killing Jotnar, and pretty much exclusively that, but he's very good at it. And then of course there's Baldur, who's a super cool guy that everyone likes. Literally everyone. See that squirrel? He's tight with Baldur. That rock over there? Baldur helped him move his couch last week. Sometimes he has bad dreams, but don't worry, it's probably fine. Nothing bad will ever happen to Baldur. Meanwhile, Odin decided he wanted to know how to do smart people things like reading and destroying people at trivia games. So he traded his eye to a guy named Mimir for a sip of his magic pool 